Cecilia. Hello, look at that. On time, right? Ana Cecilia and Cecilia Romero. Hello. Good evening and welcome. Hello. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you. Are you ready for bye, the bye. weekend? Are you ready for the weekend, Cecilia? Romero? Oh, it's really, really... Oh, descansar. <laughs> You need to rest, right? There was an accident early in the afternoon. Yes, yes, accident, yeah. yes, yes. Full, full. Exactly. It was heavy, a heavy traffic jam over there. Yes, unfortunately. Yes. Yes. Like, Pero aquí estamos. Aquí estamos. Exactly. You know, that's okay. wonderful. And, and, and Good I, evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. It's difficult, right? It's difficult to... Okay. to to, yes. to deal with it every single time. Uh, Los Chorros Road yes. Is, yes. is pretty much heavy most of the time. Terrible. It's not getting better. It's not getting better, unfortunately. Maybe yes. in the future they do something so so it's like gets better. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. There is Elvis. Hello, Elvis. How are you? Do you have your questions ready? Hi, hi, teacher. Nice. Do you have your questions ready for this like um, Christmas? Uh, please repeat slowly. Oh, do you have your questions ready for Christmas? No, no, I don't like. Uh, uh I don't like the noise. Oh, you don't like the noise. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. What what about your children? What about your children? Uh my daughter, neither. <laughs> How old is your daughter? How old is your daughter? What? How old is your daughter? Uh my daughter is uh, six years old. Oh, she's very tiny and cute, right? Yeah. Oh, that's very cute. What's her name? Uh her name is uh, Scarlett. Oh, it's Scarlett. That's fantastic. Oh, that's very difficult to pronounce. Hey, Scarlett. You have like three syllables in that name. That's wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much, Elvis, uh, for Thank sharing you. us. Fatima. Hello, Fatima. How are you? How was your day? Hi, teacher. I'm very good. And you? Yeah. I'm sorry. How was your day? How was your day? How was... Como estuvo mi día? Exactly. That one. Um, good. <laughs> okay. a good day. How many hours did you work today? How many hours did you work? Um, I repeat, please. Oh, what is your schedule at work? What is your schedule? A schedule? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, do you do you start working at seven and you finish at six p.m.? Uh, how 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 do you? What is your schedule at work? Um, de hecho, sí estoy en um, I sí estoy en el trabajo, la verdad. Oh, es okay. Es que yo trabajo. Uh -huh. <laughs> eh, cuidando pacientes en las casas. Oh my God! No sé cómo podría decir cómo se podría decirlo en inglés. Like taking care, taking care of, of let's say adults or or somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Fatima, that's fantastic! Oh my gosh, look at that! Yeah. That's impressive. Yes. That's impressive. I mean, that job is is like amazing. Okay, so congrats. The job you do is heavy. It's not for everybody. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, I admire you, everything you do. Okay, Fatima, so uh, thank you so much for being here. I know it's heavy for you to be here, like uh, taking time uh, at the work, but it's, it's, it's nice to have you. Hello, Cesar, how are you? Fine, thank you, Andrew. Oh, uh, fantastic. Are you ready for the weekend, Cesar? Uh, ready. No. Or are you going to have a barbecue on the weekend? No, he's uh, with my son in uh, uh, going going to San Salvador. Oh, really? <clears throat> the sorry day. Oh, 
on Saturday. Very good. It's fantastic. Yes. Uh, what about you, Marvin? It's a, it's a, it's a party. The, it's a party. Oh, look at that, people. The party that my son in the in the university. At the university. Oh, it's like in, a graduation. In my, work, in my like working. That? In my work is a is a party at the. Oh, and the boys, the boys is the party. Yes. Oh, the, so you it's just like it's like the the company's party that like they do like on on. Yes. Yes. In, in the December. Company. Oh, that's fantastic. Maybe. It's on the, in, maybe it's on you the will get that plasma right. That is smart TV. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a car. Is a no. Say okay. Um, no, Cesar, um, this year you will get that plasma. That that is smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, so like, no, no, no. You will get, get the... something. Okay, coffee break. <laughs> Marvin, okay. what about you, Marvin? Are you ready for the weekend? Hi, teacher. Uh, yes, I ready for the weekend. What are What are you having this weekend, Marvin? What did you have? What are you having this weekend? Uh, I, I love a uh, here on the um, I I visit my, with my family, my parents, uh, and study English. Good evening. Uh, finally, I finally did my homework. Marvin, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, so you study on the weekend, which is pretty much amazing, right? A great job. Remember, practice makes perfect. That's the way, right? That's the way. Um, listen, I, I will say the attendance and then I will show you what's going to be today's agenda. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Aleli. Welcome one more time. When you hear your beautiful name, people say presenter, I'm here. Aleli, Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez. Huh? Ana Cecilia? No, okay. Ana, Ana Cecilia de Perez. Ana Cecilia de Perez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Ana Cecilia Romero de Dominguez. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Good evening. Nice to have you. Good evening. Bridget. I'm here, teacher. Perfect, Bridget. Welcome. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. No? Okay, let's move. Escribiendo, teacher, en el chat. Oh, what's up or here? I'm sorry. I'm here. <laughs> That's you, Cesar, right? Present, okay. teacher. Edith Guzman. Present, teacher. Thank you. It's nice to have you, Edith. Um, Eduardo Najarro. Present, teacher. Welcome, Eduardo. It's nice to have you. Um, Elvis. Hello, Valdez. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. E Emerson Mejia. Present. Thank you so much. Stephanie Aparicio. Here, teacher. Wonderful. Fatima, welcome. Present, teacher. Jaime Aldana. Hello, Jaime. Is no here? Okay, okay. Let's continue with Jose Enriquez. Hello, Jose. No? Okay. Karen Peseña. Present, teacher. I'm Jose. Oh, thank you, Jose. I got you. Present. Present. Karen, thank you, Karen. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Laura Arce. Thank you. Laura? No? Okay. Let's carry on with you, Marvin. Welcome, welcome. Present, teacher. Uh, Miguel Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, Miguel. Morena Fuentes. Good evening, teacher. Welcome again. Oscar Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Wonderful, Oscar. Um, Raquel Santos. Present, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Santiago Chavez. Good evening, teacher. Hello and welcome. Vilma Cartagena. Vilma? No? OK. 
Okay, let me take a shout out WhatsApp really quick. Good evening, teacher. Aleli, hello, how Present. are you? Ah, nice to so, so. Oh, really? What's happening, Aleli? Are you Aleli? ready for the weekend? Uh, intoxicación por medicamentos. <laughs> oh, oh, what, what is that? What is that? Con algo tenía que celebrar el final del, del, del uh, módulo. Vilma, Vilma, I got you, Vilma. Thank you so much. Vilma. Y yeah, ayer no, se fue con that. la barbacoa ayer. The barbecue. That was, it was, the barbecue is for the weekend, Ali. It's not for, exactly, the barbecue is for the weekend. Okay, Carmen Guadalupe, thank you. Elvis tuvo barbacoa ayer. Yeah, thank you, Janira. I got you here. Okay, Janira, and also you, Carmen. With tomato. I see. Yes, yes, yes. And Janira. Hot dog. Un dog. Un chico de rato por ahí lo hace. Okay, thank you so much. For letting me know. As you may know, Aleli was mentioning that today is the last class of this module, which is wonderful for you. So you can rest, right? I love rest, resting. Love that thing. Like if I have the time, I will do it. So we finish with this one, as you may know. This is um, intermediate number two, section number five. And we're going to have the class number 16 for today. I hope that we can have like a lot of practice on this one, pretty much speaking, right? Um, again, raise your hand if you want to participate anytime. If not, random people will be selected during the class. Don't forget also that you need to do like the exercise that you have in the platform, okay? And uh, cualquier cosa siempre consulten así como preguntaron ahora en el chat on WhatsApp. Just like directly to the person. Ahí también tienen los números eh, of these people that is in charge of, of this module. Teacher, y Karen Murillo todavía está trabajando con ustedes. I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> es que yo también, yo también igual que otros compañeros les, les escribí y no me contestó. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize on that. Eh, eh, con, escríbale a todos los números que aparecen ahí. <laughs> <laughs> Cualquiera te va a contestar. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because Eduardo, unfortunately, unfortunately, Sí, es que, teacher, tenemos la duda con respecto a lo del diploma, porque, o sea, que no vayamos a tener diploma. Y unas personas dicen que hay que irlo a traer a Insafor, y cuando Inglés Corporativo dice que a dónde ellos, entonces, o sea, chicha para no, limonada no, y... O sea, es loca, pero eso, eso, o sea ¿no? yo, yo pregunté... No, no, you will get, lo you que, will get your diploma. Y, you will get your diploma. Esta explicación, es que lo mandaron al correo. Thank you. Bridget, please. Bridget, go ahead. No, a mí cuando me hablaron por teléfono para, para, para yo poder ingresar mi, la solicitud para este módulo, me explicaron que el diploma lo iban a estar mandando por correo. Y si uno lo quería presen, presencial, o sea, si el cartoncito, tenía que irlo a traer a Insafor. Eso en fue físico. Lo que me dijeron. Sí, en físico. Eso Está fue bien. lo que a mí me dijeron. A principio del módulo, vea. ¿A Insafor o a Inglés Corporativo, Brigitte? No, Insafor, porque Insafor es el que está pat patrocinando las clases de inglés. Vaya, nosotros nos dijeron en Inglés Corporativo. A, a Inglés Corporativo nos dijeron, sí. O sea, por eso le digo, ay, teacher, y no hay nadie de, de English Corporation, ¿verdad? No, <laughs> y, el, no worry, no worry. y usted listen, nunca, nunca me dice no, nada. Listen, tomorrow, tomorrow voy a ir, mañana te ah. Entonces, mañana voy ah. a preguntar al mediodía. Y yo mañana les... le van a dar el bono de Navidad, teacher. <laughs> Ah, ¿verdad? Por eso está bien feliz. El arquinaldo le van a dar ya. No, no, like, ya lo debe. I'm getting paid tomorrow, so I will be there. No, ya a... está fingida, mira el teacher ya. Voy a ir mañana, pregunto, ok. Les escribo en el chat. Y van, y en el caso lo quieran impreso, porque a veces lo quieran okay. impreso. Okay, ¿no? you promise? Yes, I mean, I'm sure. If I'm telling you. Ok. That's for sure. Ok. okay. And I'm using I will. I, I'm using I will. Okay. Si no lo acosamos. Okay. Okay. Let's begin, let's begin with the practice. Let's begin with the practice. Um, we'll let you know tomorrow that information. Okay. Uh, for sure. 
we're going to have this listening here. Okay. We're going to have dot profile. Yesterday, we were talking a little bit about uh, this thing. So I will play the audio. No sé si ven en la pantalla bien la picture. Do you see this picture very well? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. If you don't see it, let me know. Okay. Anytime. So I will play the audio twice <laughs> and then questions. Let's listen and watch. Page 67, Exercise 9, Perspectives, Job Profiles, Part A. Listen to these people answer the question, what kind of work would you like to do? What job does each person talk about? Well, I think I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter for the school website. I really enjoyed writing different kinds of articles. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, but I'm terrible under pressure. I'm still in school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm also very impatient, so maybe I shouldn't work with kids. Page 67, Exercise 9, Perspectives, Job Profiles, Part A. Listen to these people answer the question, What kind of work would you like to do? What job does each person talk about? Well, I think I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter for the school website. I really enjoyed writing different kinds of articles. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, but I'm terrible under pressure. I'm still in school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm also very impatient, so maybe I shouldn't work with kids. Okay, Santiago, the first question goes for you. What kind of work would you like to do? The first job, teacher. Oh, what is the first one? The well, uh, the journalist. You tell me why, please. Ah, uh, well, um, I think I may a good journalist because I'm gonna write in two. Um, when I was, I was in college. Mm -hmm. Say him, um, he worked and a report for a school. Me too. Oh. Work, work, and. Yeah, uh, work and this uh, and really enjoy with writing different kind of articles. Okay, you do the same, right? Yes, that's very, very, very good. Thank you so much, Anneli. Thank you. Question for you: What job does each person talk about? Uh, I. Yes. What job does each person talk about? Um, oh, I teach. Oh, my God. Um, Do you need help? No. I... And the second, the second cast? No, no. usted le está preguntando. Ay, teacher, me han dado un medicamento y no, no oh, sabría. Que... I, will, I will pick another one, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> hey, teacher, I, will pick another... <laughs> I will pick another one. Okay, Oscar, thank you, Oscar. The same question, same question to you. What job does each person talk about? Oscar? 
cream. Sorry, let's work with you, Morena Fuentes. Uh, the second picture. Oh, no, I mean, all the no. pictures, all the pictures. Do you understand the question? Because what job does each person talk about? What is the first profession or occupation? What is the second one? And what is the third one? In the second picture. No, the first one, the second one, and the third one. Mm. Yes, okay. in the second picture, I don't want to, to do. The girl, uh, the girl, I don't want to do. Okay, Morena. Uh, Morena. Teacher. In, in, in the girl, uh, no profession. I don't, I don't want to do. Okay, no, the uh, question, the question, oh, excuse me, Morena Fuentes. The question is okay. about what is, what is the profession or occupation? For example, here with this boy, he is like, he in wants journalist. to be a teacher or oh, journalist, journalist. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh, what about yeah. this girl? What is, what is her profession or occupation? She's talking in this, in this thing, in this dialogue. Yes. Esther Brocker. Esther Brocker. Thank you. What about mm -hmm. this girl here? Mm -hmm. What about this girl? Uh, uh, but I not sure. I guess could be a teacher. Because exactly. I'm very, very good. good. We have a, a journalist, uh -huh. a stockbroker, and here we have a, a teacher. A, very teacher. Good. Mm -hmm. a teacher. Great job. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. Thank you. This is about jobs, right? How things turned down, turn on when they're like you study something and then um, you get a job and you do what you're supposed to love, right? Okay. Let's go with another thing that we have in here. Let me show you this following video. Let's listen and watch. Hi, I'm Yolanda Rivera. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress? Please share your responses on our discussion box. Do you see very well on the screen this information? It says, tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. We're going to work with this thing. Okay. Your response. Classes with because. Classes with because, as you may know, answers like because answers the question of why. So that means we use this thing when we want to give a reason of something. Okay, in here we can use the modal could and the modal would. Okay, we can use affirmative or negative. Okay, um, I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stock 
broker because I can make the decision quickly. So uh, what is the big thing here? Well, it's not something really big. When you have a clause, a clause is a sentence. Okay, that is the clause. And we use this conjunction because to get these two sentences together with one minute. Okay, so we have one sentence and another sentence that goes related to one idea. Okay, that is the big thing. Don't forget that in here, you can use verb to be, you can use simple present to talk about it. If you notice the sentence are very simple. Yeah, and very have to be and make a decision. So the sentences are quite simple. What are you going to do? It's like, you need to give reasons about something, right? Like for example, I could be a teacher because I'm very creative, okay? So maybe one of you could be the president of El Salvador and you need to give me a reason why. Why do you think you could be a good president? Mm-hmm. What is Jaime? Jaime, are you here? Jaime? No? Okay, let's work with you, Santiago. Question for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me, me, like, why do you think you could be a good president? Oh, because I am an honest. Oh, look at that, people. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a huge thing, right? That's like a huge Maybe. thing. Maybe. Yeah, so with these things, it's about that, right? Giving reasons about something, yeah? For example, okay. for example, teacher, occupation, right? Teacher, yeah? For, ex for example, I, um, si yo digo, I could be, I could, I could be a singer because I'm good to sing. At sing. At sing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm good at singing. I'm good, I'm at, good singing. at singing. Very good. Exactly. Like that. Also, you can say, um, I could be, I could be like a, a footballer player, uh, a football player. I'm sorry, I could be a football player because I'm good at playing soccer. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can, yes. You can say like yes. that. Right? I got it. Say, I wouldn't be a. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a, a, a musician because I'm not good at playing the piano, right? So again, this is about you, something that you can do or something that you cannot do, and then you're giving reasons about it, okay? You can use words, 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 or you can use could. But Three reasons, teacher. Three reasons. Three reasons. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the thing. Don't forget. Very good. Let's have some exercises. You can have an idea. In here, if you notice, we have some vocabulary, right? The first thing is write the opposite of the, I'm sorry, write the opposite. Use the words in the box. So here we have this vocabulary, right? Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In here, in the box, you have the opposite. You need to figure it out. What is the opposite of each adjective? Yes? Mm -hmm. Let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. Find out what is the opposite of these um, adjectives. And then you need to complete the sentences in exercise B. Like Suyin is an person. She really enjoys meeting new people. Okay, the first thing is you need to organize this vocabulary. This adjective, you need to find the opposite. First, find the opposite. I will take a picture of this one. So you can have it in the chat on WhatsApp. Espérame que esta cosa está muy arriba. Hi, Emerson. Thank you, Emerson. Puedo intentarlo. Okay, Emerson, do it. Uh, Barry H. Friendly is uh, unfriendly. Mm -hmm. uh, Barry B. 
Sushin is a friendly person. She's really enjoying meeting new people. She really enjoys. You really, she really enjoy meeting new people. Oh, she is. Uh, can you repeat the, the adjective, please, one more time, Eduardo? Mercy. Okay. I'm sorry. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Emerson, I'm sorry, Emerson. Can you repeat one more time? Sí, Jim. Uh, she really enjoy meeting new people. No, the adjective que está. Sí, Jim is an... Uh, friendly. Unfriendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is incorrect. ¿Por qué? I... Because of this one. Yes, cool going. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Be careful with that. Okay, so you need to find, you need to find something that I goes with a vowel sound. Yep. Emerson? Yes? Yes, teacher. And so, where is the word? Okay, uh, Santiago? What are you doing, teacher? No, because I'm going to take a picture because what is the answer, Santiago, in number one? And the in part B teacher. Do you oh, mean sería desorganized. Desorganized. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? Disorganized. 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 Entonces, perdón, Santiago, perdón. Entonces sería, you seen is a disorganized per person. She's really enjoying meeting new people. Is correct? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Emerson. I apologize. I'm sorry. No. No, no. no. Okay. You need to find an adjective that begins with a vowel sound. Vowel sound. Okay. Vowel sound. Okay. Are Cesar? Going, teacher. Cesar? Are going. Teacher? Yes. Are going. So, Jean yes. is yes. an outgoing yes. person. That's no. Morena Fuentes? No, Janira. Janira, that is correct. Okay. So Jean is an outgoing person. She really enjoys meeting new people. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Um, the queer, the queer lady. How about me, what teacher? The queer lady. Cesar, number two, Cesar. Number two, all going. No, no, number one is outgoing. Number one is outgoing. Mm. Okay, number one is here. Ah, okay. no, 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 sí, estaba leyendo las de arriba. Donde está la assistant friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Está aquí. Mm, okay. Dale. Estaba equivocado. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Very good. Keep working. Don't worry. Teacher, en la segunda podría ser uh, friendly. Okay, can you read this? Becky sentence? is a very uh, friendly one day she's happy and the next day she's sad. Mm. No. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> no, because the words, the words on the box. Becky is worried. Moody. Oh, who's saying that? Moody. Bueno, alguna de esas ha de ser, ya tantas que dijimos. Moody. 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 Pero que Moody es perezoso. No. No. Moody. Malhumorado. Pero ella dice que, eh, pero está hablando de que Becky es muy, en un día es muy feliz, dice. Pero a veces está. Pero el otro está triste. Ya, sí está. Bien bipolar, vea. Bueno. Entonces, ¿cuál es? Bipolar. <laughs> it's not there. It's not there. It's not there. What about number three? What about number three? Oh, that one is good. I can't stand it working. I can't stand working with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it, number three? Her working? No. I can't stand working, working with like lazy people. Con gente perezosa. I like having 
Yeah. Reliable. 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 Co-worker. Mm. Lazy, lazy, no. Mm. It's because of the reliable co-worker at the end. No. No, you need to write the opposite. What is the opposite of reliable? Oh my God. What is the opposite of reliable? Mm -hmm. Forgetful. Um, forgetful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Friendly teacher. Um, I'm sorry. No, it's like forgetful. I can't stand working with forgetful. Elvis, Elvis, do you have forgetful? Mm -hmm. I think I know Elvis. Very good, Elvis. Very good. Forgetful people. I like having reliable co-workers. Yeah. Uh, what about number four? Marvin, number four? Lassie. Lassie? I'm sorry. That is incorrect. No. Interesting. What is that? Unfriendly. Ah, unfriendly, podría ser. Unfriendly. Yeah, unfriendly. Interesting. Vamos, Marvin, completala. You can do it. Unfriendly. I think um, would be interesting. Level header. Uh, no. No. It. What is the answer? You have it, people. That this one is it, the easiest one. Hey, come on, guys. No, it's interesting, teacher. No, we don't. Have, uh, no. I'm um, going to. Um, Boring, teacher. Um, friendly. Unfriendly. Unfriendly or empathic? Unfriendly because begin is with yes, a... friendly. Exactly. Who's saying that? Friendly. 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 Exactly. Feel it. Is that? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Yes, it's interesting. I'm sorry. Is oh man. <laughs> ya vio. Yeah. Estamos no, en lo no, correcto. Okay. Yeah. No estaba yeah. probando, yeah. verdad, teacher? No estaba probando. Ah, pero teacher. Yeah. Complete the sentence with word in pair part A. Teacher, yeah. pay attention. Yeah, but you need to have you need to have this one. Be careful with this one. That's what okay. I was wrong. Okay. I was wrong because I I didn't I didn't I didn't read this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's interesting because of this one. Okay, Philip is an interesting person. I'm never bored with, when I talk to him. Right. Yeah. That is the reason why. Uh, Emerson, right? Tell me. Aleli también lo dijo. Oh, Aleli. Sí, yo fui la primera, pero sí estoy drogada, pero no tanto, ¿verdad? O sea, como que. I apologize. Okay. Ah, okay. Es que me parece Sorry. raro porque dice que nunca, uh -huh. nunca está aburrido cuando habla con esto. Dije, es interesante, pero te digo que pues no. Claro. Otra Lily. Okay. okay, we're going to watch this video, uh, which is about jobs interview. Let's listen and watch. Yes, Natasha. Mr. Verdi, the internship candidates are... <gasps> Wonderful. Send in the first candidate, please. Hello. Hello. Welcome. You must be Susan Ahn. Yes. I'm Mario Verdi, account nice director. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nice Verdi. You. Hi, and I'm Danielle Derby, design director. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. You have a very impressive resume, Susan. Tell us about yourself. Well, Mr. Verdi, I'm creative, and I think that my artistic style will fit in well here. I see you're quite skilled with computers. Yes, I know all the main design programs, and I'm actually designing a website for my father's business, and I'm taking a 3D software course this summer. Excellent. 
But won't you be too busy for an internship? Oh, no. I love being busy. Great. Do you have any sales experience? I worked at a retail store last summer. Do you like sports? Sports? Uh, well, not really. I'm not very good at them. Mm. Neither am I. Yeah. Susan, we do a lot of advertising for sporting goods. Uh, would you be interested in working on those accounts? Of course, Mr. Verdi. I would love working on any account. I just want to learn all about the business. And in three words, how would you describe yourself? Creative, organized, and professional. Well, okay, good. I think we have enough to go on for now. Uh, we'll let you know either way. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Natasha, send in the next candidate, please. Come in. Hi. I'm Scott Robbins. Hi. Mario Verdi, account director. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Danielle Darby, design director. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Wow, look at this. I love this company's work. It's very cool stuff. It's Great. the best, really. Oh, hey, thanks, Scott. Sit down. Sure. So, what do you see yourself doing here? Well, I love sports, and I love marketing, and I can sell anything. <laughs> how, how are you with numbers? Well, I enjoy working with numbers, Mario. So, you think you'd make a good salesman? I do. Why? Well, I'd make a good salesman because I can quickly calculate percentages and then convince people why they should hire us. Hmm. Good, good. Okay, okay. Yeah, I I'm done. Danielle? Tell me about your computer skills, Scott. Danielle, I enjoy working with computers. I wouldn't want to be in front of one all day, but I don't mind using them. Well, what design software programs do you know? Would you be able to create a banner ad for a web page? I could try. I don't mind trying new things because I'm a very fast learner. And in three words, how would you describe yourself? Simply the best. Great. Thanks for coming in. We'll let you know either way. Great. Bye-bye. Thank you. I like that kid. I thought he was too much. I can't stand that salesman personality thing. I think our sports clients uh, would like uh, someone with that kind of confidence. Maybe, but not all our accounts are sports accounts. So you prefer Susan? Yes. She's creative, level-headed, and seems hardworking and reliable. Yeah, but she's not interested in sales. No, I guess not, but... I don't think Scott knows anything about design. What do we do? I have an idea. Yeah. Alright, you're like a kung fu master, okay? You are a Come kung on, fu bring master. Up, bring it up. Bring it up. You are like a 10th degree black belt. Nobody can touch you. Bruce Lee has nothing on you, okay? All right? All right? Who is Jack? All right. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, now, oh, yeah. Now, now let's bring it down. Oh, bring it down. Now let's, okay, you're, you're a bush, okay? You're serene. Y al final, teacher, ¿quién tuvo el trabajo? Oh, who do you think? Who do you yeah. think got the job? You. We have we have two people. What are those names that we have here? Do you remember the names of these two candidates? Yes, sir. Please tell me. Susan and Scott. Okay, who got the job? Scott. Scott got it, fine. Scott got it. Muy humilde. Alta la autoestima. Professional. Hablador. I mean, I mean. Yo, teacher, yo creo que los dos los contrataron, ¿no? Uh -huh. No, pero era más profesional la chera. Porque yes. la, chera, la contrataron yes. a ella y a él, ¿verdad? Oh, very good, very good. They were getting in. Los dos Porque tenían él, algo. Él, algo. Él tenía algo que ella no tenía y ella tenía algo que él sí. no tenía. 
Exactly. Se complementaron. Exactly. So at the end, both of them got the position, right? Both of them got the position at the end. That would be good, okay? So the, the boy was like taking, like he was like acting or doing something like, I don't know, let's say like, like he was like like a model or something like that and the girl was the, like directing um i know the spot or the, the 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 he was like she was like in charge of like taking the the pictures of, of for the magazine oh that was she, very, very creative she, she don't like the sport uh he is is i like a sport he loves. It's a salesman. yes saint cr7 teacher <laughs> exactly with the pictures right with the pictures it's really good with the pictures okay thank you so much very good this is about how you describe right yourself based on your skills or your abilities that you have right you can use these different adjectives for example do you remember what was the uh what were those adjectives that you said you Susan, use or describe herself do you remember the adjectives for Susan? Yes, he teacher. It's very creative, professional uh -huh. organizer. Yeah, uh, yeah. Professional. And professional. That's it. Very That's good. It. Very good. Exactly. So those are like the typical way you, you describe yourself. Again, if you know that we have three things, unless you are a Scott, right? Which is like the best, right? The it best. is the best. But always go with the three things. Three examples of everything. If you give an explanation about something, give three of them. Okay, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, we have this information here about writing an email. Okay, this is about writing an email. Okay, for Mr. Yoshioka, we have this vocabulary here. Um, what is um, Jose, can you help me reading this vocabulary, Jose, please? Thank you. Jose, can you, can you read this, this vocabulary? Can you read this vocabulary for everybody, please? Uh, advertisement, application, appreciate, apex, dear, enclosed, experience, in addition, interview, personality, personal, resu resume, sincerely, taken. Resume, resume. Resume. I think, I think we have aspects here, a moment. It's like curriculum, right? Exactly, something like that. But there is a mistake in that presentation that I need to fix. Okay, which is aspects with S, S, N. Give me a minute so I can show you one more time. What are you going to do in this exercise? It's pretty much you are going to use that vocabulary in this blank space according to the context to write this email to this person. Okay, so you have Mr. Yoshioka, what is the first one? Dear. Dear director, executive, executive airline. What is next? What is next? So I needed to take a screenshot of this one so you can do it, right? This is just for practice again. Try to do it, okay? Uh, if you want me to check this one, eh, me lo envía en el chat privado, okay? Y yo con gusto le, se lo reviso. Yep. If you have a doubt on this one, yeah, because of the time, I think we won't be able to finish all. But the idea, again, is you need to use this vocabulary in this blank space that you have there, okay? Um, the vocabulary is quite simple, if you notice. It's not something big, right? something that uh, we use. This is a typical email that we write, right? It's on the picture in the WhatsApp. 
Oh, oh, sure, sure. Let me take, let me use my Alcatel really quick. Okay. Um, so you can have it. A minute. Oh, come on, Alcatel, work, 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 work. Okay, let me see. Como quedó? Yes, good, good. Let me show, let me send this thing to you. Oh my gosh. Give me a minute, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, there you have it in the chat. Okay, so you can like like do it. Um, yes, I see. Very good. So again, you can do it at home. And if you want me to check that, um, if you have some doubts in the, like one of these ones, but I think all of them you will you will get them. Okay, you will get them all. That's for sure. Okay, because it's like it's not something really really difficult to, to do. But if you want me to check that, send it to me, and I will answer to you as soon as possible. Because during the day I work, so um, and also tomorrow I work at night. So um, as soon as I, I get the stamps to answer this to you, I will I will send it. I will I will answer to you with the correct answer. Okay. I will say the attendance one more time. I will stop sharing. Um, I have to do it. Just give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Aleli. Present, teacher. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez. Present. Cecilia Romero de Dominguez. Present. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Bridget Erazo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carmen Escamilla. Cesar. Edith Guzman. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, the two of you. Mm -hmm. Eduardo Najarro. Yes, Emerson Mejia. I'm here. Se le quedó Elvis. Yes, Elvis. I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm here, Apo teacher. I apologize, Elvis. Sorry. Stephanie Jamileta Paricio. I'm here. Um, Fatima. I'm present, teacher. Jaime Aldana. Oh, Jaime, are you here? No? Okay, Jose. Karen Present, Senior. teacher. Perfect. Present, teacher. Laura Arce. No Laura today. Oh, I hope I hope she's okay. Teacher, present I, teacher. Oh, thank you. Kaji. Um Marvin. Yes. Miguel. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, Morena yes. Fuentes. Present teacher. Okay, give me a minute. Sorry. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, Oscar Rodriguez. Raquel Santos. Present. Thank you so much. That'd be good. Um, Santiago Chavez. I'm here, teacher. And Vilma Cartagena. Okay, don't forget again that you have the platform where you need to complete the exercises, right? You know, as you may know, like this place tiene sus, re sus reglas y creo que pues a ustedes como hasta el Con, con todos los cursos que han tomado, pues ustedes ya saben cómo es la dinámica. Entonces, um, pues hay algunos eh, exercises que usted tiene que trabajarlos en, en casa. Entonces, tiene que cumplir cierto porcentaje, tanto de la asistencia en la clase, aquí en la clase, y also you work at home with the material that you have available in the platform. Okay. So, you, you, you already know how this thing works, right? So, uh, but um, like one of my responsibilities, just uh, letting you know, or just uh, remember trying to um, help you with that, like each day, just letting you know that you need to uh, do the exercise that you have available in the platform. Okay, uh, so don't forget that you need to, to do it. Like there is like a percent, a percent that you need to cover based on the requirements for this course, okay? Um, uh, let me 
me see. Okay. Okay, man, man. Okay. Alguno tiene problemas con la plataforma y le hace falta algo. Ahí tenemos a la teacher a Lely. <laughs> okay. I would like to show you the following video. Okay. Um, what this is? <laughs> English for beginners. I am, you are, he, she, it is. I am, you are, he, she, it is. Robert, I am. Hi. Can you show me the way to the beach? Towel. Breakfast. Fork. Knife. Bread. I love you. You are perfect. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I love you. You are perfect. I thank you. Suitcase. Slippers. Toothbrush. Passport. Pyjamas. Be good dog. Hi, I am. Hi, I am. Passengers on flight, Aerolinias Argentina. Traduzcamos el video, agarren en la escuela. <laughs> y el pobre niño, hi, daddy. ¿Cómo estás? Es bueno tenerte aquí. 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 Uh, keep practicing your English as much as you can. Uh, enjoy your life. Be happy. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Take care. Don't eat a lot of panes con pollo, right? Yeah. All right. The beers. You will get it. You will get it. Santiago, <laughs> the beers. Good morning, Cesar, Elvis, Emerson, Eduardo. Oh, hi, Marvin, Miguel. 
Ay, 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 Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. Merry Christmas.